There's no money. There's no house. She wants, we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a fucking life. Joe, Kim Zolziak and Croy Bierman's divorce just got a whole lot messier after their kids called the cops on Croy for a him. In a viral police body cam footage video leaked by TMZ, Croy can be seen yelling at Kim and the police acting like a lunatic and accusing Kim of hooking up with other men while they were still together and gambling all their money away. Kim was also later questioned in that video and she had a whole mental breakdown describing everything that Croy has been putting her through. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was shocked when I first saw this video. I mean, we all knew their divorce was not going well, but this is my first time seeing Croy upset and this violent. What the, our life, okay, and it's so fucking destroyed. Why, why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. Okay, so if y'all been keeping up with Croy and Kim's divorce, then y'all know things have not been going very well for them. They've both been exposed for owing the IRS over $1 million. And the police have been called to their homes more time than we can count. Now, it all started earlier this year when Kim filed for divorce, claiming the marriage was irretrievably broken with no hope of reconciliation. Kim then later accused Croy of being an addict and filed a petition for Croy to be forced to undergo a test. She said in her petition that she witnessed Croy smoking marijuana and because of that, she has serious concerns for the safety and well-being of the minor children under his care. She's also fearful that their younger children will be exposed to the substance he's allegedly using. Croy also decided to be petty and he filed his own separate petition asking for Kim to be psychologically evaluated because she has a raging gambling addiction. According to Croy, Kim was spending substantial time and marital funds on gambling and other games of choice. Around this time, the cops were called to their house after Croy seized all of Kim's designer purses and her passport in the basement. Radar Online later locked a body cam footage of the whole incident, and in the video, Croy was calling Kim a narcissist and accusing her of gambling over $1.5 million, y'all. Okay. But I mean, as far as right, so so uh, basically, in the last two and a half years, she's um, uh, gambled away about seven hundred thousand okay. uh, dollars. Just in the last two and a half years, uh, total okay. in the marriage, probably about one point five million dollars. Okay. Um, and she does it online illegally, and so that's that's a major process that I'm dealing with with the, the process of the divorce. I, I just uh, retained a lawyer today. I have to go pay them tomorrow. Okay, um, that's that's so more. She's going to be served within probably the next. That was more of my question, yeah, right there, because I wanted to, to hone down, like, how much longer you guys are being forced to be, like, here. You know what I mean? The problem is that these are the assets. There are no assets to go to an apartment. Right, uh, right, right, She right. has decimated everything. Are you guys um, separate at night in different rooms and that sort of thing right uh, now? She, she has are tried trying to... to narcissist comes through and, and so she does things to try to get me to react so she thought right. it'd be cute to go hide in the house i don't give a fuck. went to bed went to bed had no issues right. croy then went on to file a different petition asking the court to grant him full custody of them kids because of kim's gambling addiction and it was causing her to neglect the children kim's team immediately denied those allegations and accused croy of spreading lies in an attempt to paint kim as an unfit mother for his own gain so as y'all can see croy was really working overtime to antagonize kim and make her out to be a bad mom but nothing was really sticking. The crazy part is he somehow managed to manipulate Kim into calling off their divorce. Now, I don't know what Kim was thinking when she agreed to call off the divorce, but it was a huge mistake. Cause just about three days after they got back together, they were back to dragging each other and even got slapped with a $300,000 lawsuit for failing to pay off a $217,000 home equity loan. And just two minutes later, Croy ran back to court 
to file a divorce for the second time. I mean, can y'all believe this? While Kim was still trying to make their marriage work, Croy went behind her back to file for divorce. Kim fired back by filing a petition for Croy's divorce to be dismissed because she felt like there was still hope for their marriage. But this didn't work because the judge ordered them to undergo a mediation program so they could come to a mutual agreement and settle the divorce by January of this coming year. As if that wasn't bad enough, they were also exposed for being broke after they put up their family's house for sale for $6 million. A source even described described their marriage as a money war and said they were no longer trying to get back together. Now, up until this point, they were just having a bunch of legal fights and pretty much going at each other through their lawyers. But things took a very serious turn for the worse a few days ago after Croy put his hands on Kim. According to reports, Croy and Kim were having their usual fights, but this time, things got so aggressive that one of the kids literally took it upon themselves to call the cops. When the cops arrived, Croy started going off on them and accused Kim of ruining their family. He went on a full-blown rant about how Kim caused them to lose all of their money and their house and even accused her of hooking up with other men. A bunch of nonsense. All right, come talk to me. Ma'am, stay right there. <laughs> what, what's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our f***ing life. Okay, what what happened? What, why, all right, it's why our I life. Don't... It's destroyed. Why? But, okay, what started the argument? Her inability to fucking solve problems. Okay, or address come over or do anything. Come over here. Why? Because I want to talk to you away from her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and, and have a whole it's a, argument. It's, it's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay, what does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't, I'm not going to do this. Because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what the There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was, you? Your kids. Who? What kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. So He's what, been outside what, this whole time. What, 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 what was the argument about? Our life! What the, our life okay. and it's fucking destroyed why why is it getting so heated because our life is destroyed what don't you understand there's no money there's no house she wants we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next okay. she's fucking other men what do you want just calm down calm down but i don't have a fucking life and i don't have somebody who won't and listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. You want to live this mother? Look, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have lasted for down. a year. You wouldn't have lasted a day in this house. I get that he's upset with Kim and frustrated by the fact that she literally gambled all of their money away, but mistreating her is definitely not gonna change that. And mind you, the officer literally said one of the kids called them. I don't think they would have called if this was just one of their regular arguments. The cop later went on to talk to Kim and she was having a whole mental breakdown in her car. She said Croy attacked her after she told him she wanted a divorce. It got so bad that she literally started to scream for her neighbors to come rescue her. And that's when her kids took it upon themselves to call the cops. I just like, I'm, he's just been screaming at me for like two hours, like a crazy person, like a crazy person. Okay. What, what was the argument? Why were y'all arguing? Because I just, Why is I, he I just screaming? wanted to get a divorce. Like, I just wanted this to be over. I, he wouldn't let me leave this morning. The gate like is broke or whatever so you have to like manually open it he jumped in front of my car i have all these videos like he blocking me from leaving and he just started yelling at the crib a phone call at 5 30 i can't do this right now <laughs> i'm sorry like my nose is moving yes, and then i left I, I got finally got out of the gate and i was walking in my robe down the street and i was like yelling for help to my neighbor like please somebody help me he's screaming screaming in my ear grabbing my robe like the back hoodie of my on my road and my road, I meant to be like physically and emotionally could not take this any any longer. <laughs> my kids, he's like, get out of the house. If I go like walk in, he kicks the kids out. And then if I go, if I come outside, he's like, get inside the house. And my son's like, mom, please take me to my friend. Mm -hmm. 
his dad said, no, you're not going anywhere. And so he's crying right now. Now it's just too much. This is he's mentally ill, like for real. Like for real. Are you real. hurt in any way? No, I just physically, I just in my ear just screaming like a crazy person for mm -hmm. hours. But despite all the messy evidence and receipts pointing to Croy being the one who's actually making this divorce a hot mess, a lot of people on social media feel that Kim is actually the problem and that she's purposely making Croy out to be the crazy one. People are accusing her of driving Croy to the wall and making him act out of character. One person said, she has destroyed a calm, level-headed man and it's so sad. She has not not denied that she spent their whole fortune on gambling, wigs, wine, and her obviously failing skincare line. She probably drives him into a frenzy with her indifference to their plight and the lives of their kids going down the tubes. Another person said, Kim Polsiak destroyed Croy Beerman, and I hate that so much because the kindest people run into people like her who display all the signs of NPD. I hope he breaks free of her now and finds peace. She always seemed like an awful person in designer clothes. But now I want to know your thoughts on this whole mess. I mean, what do y'all think about this mess? Do y'all agree with the folks that think Kim is the one who destroyed her whole family with her gambling addiction? As always, sound off your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.